Religion and science are pillars of contemporary culture. They sometimes seem like complete opposites who were destined to clash. And other people are worried about how the great scientific discoveries we anticipate are on the horizon will be interpreted by Earth's faith. Welcome to Z. Today, we're responding to the unusual query, how would religion respond to evidence of intelligent, extraterrestrial life? Do you require answers to the important queries? So why not join Z to see more videos like this one? And ring the bell for more inspiring material. Despite the fact that there are 1.2 billion atheists and agnostics in the globe, 85% of people on Earth identify as members of a particular religion. Therefore, the issue of how different religious communities might respond to the discovery of extraterrestrial life is enormous and crucial, and NASA has actually made research investments in it. The organization gave the Center for Theological Inquiry in New Jersey $1.1 million in 2014 to study the societal consequences of astrobiology. The Freedom From Religion Foundation criticized the decision, saying that science should not concern itself with how its advancement would affect faith-based beliefs. But isn't it better to know in advance how people could react to the news of alien life given the importance of religion in our social fabric? After all, evidence of intelligent life outside in the universe would probably raise important issues about the stories and worldviews of the major religions on the globe. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are the three Abrahamic religions, and they are all focused on earthly existence and the human race. They treat the rest of the cosmos practically as an afterthought. That is not to imply that the universe is not mentioned in Abrahamic literature. The earth, the atmosphere, and eventually the sun, moon, and stars are all created by God according to the Bible. However, it's interesting to note that he creates Earth in exactly the same time, one day, as he makes all the stars in the sky. How would the biblical account of creation fit in with the discovery of life in other parts of the universe, which is statistically likely given its size and the number of chemical ingredients required? Would widespread apostasy result from the revelation, dealing a deadly blow to the world's major religions? Would society need to restructure around new leaders and belief systems? If that's how you're thinking, you might be mistaken because there isn't really any proof to back it up. It's significant to note that the NASA study, which featured religious leaders from several religions working together on the issue, concentrated solely on astrobiology in general. This refers to extraterrestrial life of any kind, intelligent or not. Finding proof of an advanced alien civilization, most likely in another solar system, could constitute the discovery of extraterrestrial life, although it could be as straightforward as finding microbes on Mars. In the latter scenario, it might not be too difficult for religion to accept the finding. After all, the ecological diversity on Earth is immeasurable, and it's not as if religious people have a problem with the presence of the animal kingdom and all of its peculiar traits just because those life forms aren't humans. But to claim that there is no conflict between scientific advancements and religious beliefs today or in the past would be false. Many religious individuals disagree with specific aspects of contemporary science. Though the majority of Christians do not, there are creationists who, for example, reject the existence of dinosaurs. And in fact, there is some proof for the existence of dinosaurs in the Bible, most likely because prehistoric humans were able to find dinosaur fossils and did so. Though it may have been more difficult for them to connect the dinosaur remains with the local fauna, there is undeniable proof that these enormous animals were in the world well before the time of the Bible. There is evolution to think about as well. It's frequently cited as evidence refuting the notion that God created the world. Furthermore, it poses a significant issue for those who take the Bible literally and think that God actually created the universe and contemporary humans in six days. But it isn't really a big deal for everyone else. Darwin himself actually had no intention of his theory of evolution being a polemic against the presence of God or even being at all contentious. 
by holding that God directed evolution and was ultimately responsible for it, that he created all those animals and determined how they would evolve, Christian scientists may easily reconcile evolution and religious thought. Once more, it is true that there are others who continue to berate evolution, especially in the United States, where many still prefer that it not be taught in schools. Despite being widely visible, Christians in the United States make up a relatively small proportion of all Christians worldwide. There is no reason why religious people couldn't accept the existence of alien intelligence if they accept evolution and dinosaurs, which most religious people do. After all, the Bible explicitly states that God created all of the stars. This may be interpreted to suggest that God also created extraterrestrial life. He is said to be all-knowing and all-powerful, therefore it is possible that he is simultaneously inhabiting more than one planet. When Darwin presented his hypothesis, evolution did not eliminate Christianity, just as the Big Bang Theory and the advent of paleontology did not. When presented with a scientific anomaly, religion can and will adapt, and there are far more examples of that than there are of society collapsing. However, there are biblical passages that could be seen as problematic for extraterrestrial life, such as the claim made in Genesis that God created humanity in his own image. This implies that if aliens seem completely different from how we do when they come on Earth, it may be assumed that they are not God's children. However, it might also be argued that this text does not pertain solely to appearances, or at least that it is not literal. It might also be used to describe qualities like reason or compassion. The meaning of this concept, known as Imago Dei, is still up for intense discussion among religious leaders and theologians today. It might be among the most intriguing passages of biblical text. Again, there are many verses in the Bible that can be read in a new light and used in new ways after the discovery of intelligent extraterrestrial life. We have so far only discussed monotheistic religions, however Hinduism is one of the other major world religions, with approximately 30 million different deities that individuals can worship. Hinduism is a polytheistic religion, and throughout history, people have practiced many other such faiths. There are many gods in the pantheons of ancient Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology, Norse mythology, and so on. Each deity is in charge of a particular component of the world. Hindus number over 1 billion and make up 15% of the world's population. They would probably find it far simpler to deal with extraterrestrial life than monotheist religions. Who's to say that all those many gods aren't also taking care of other planets, after all? Or that there aren't millions more gods who exist in other realms and interact with extraterrestrial life? Intelligent alien life probably wouldn't lead to any kind of belief crisis in polytheistic religions. Finally, there is no reason why a sophisticated alien culture wouldn't have its own religion. Aliens do frequently have their own faiths in science fiction. Then, perhaps not violently, aliens might want to expose us to their own religion so that we can share civilizations. It's possible that their discovery of humanity will trigger a similar crisis on their home planet as well. However, it's also conceivable that there are several sentient species in the universe, some of which have established contacts. It's possible that Earth and its face will someday fit into the current order of things. Although there have been several religious disputes and battles in this country, religions can also coexist in harmony. So maybe that's what would occur. Additionally, they all impart qualities like kindness and understanding. Even those who don't practice any religion at all might want to appreciate the increased religious diversity in a galactic civilization. First contact with civilized, intelligent extraterrestrials can only be a good thing, and most people on Earth, regardless of their religious beliefs, would certainly support it. While there are numerous profound and significant questions about the potential, that is how religion would respond if evidence of advanced alien life were to emerge. How do you feel? Do you think we missed anything? Check out more Z videos, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to receive notifications of our newest posts.